just wanted to update on this um, Camux for Solid Edge. Um, now we have mill turn options in, in Camux. I think we had a couple of um, prospects asking us uh, this question. So what you do is um, if you have a part that has both late and milling operation, uh, you simply click on the machine, uh, select the machine, this time it's a mill turn. Uh, we do support mill turn for twin turret as well as twin spindles. So next step is to define the stock, the diameter and the length of the part. Once that's done, just like milling, you just say extract machinable features. So it will automatically extract the, the lathe options, uh, the pockets and the boss and there's a slot here as well. Uh, it's easy, obviously you want to do the, the cutoff feature last so I can just simply uh, create a setup and I can drag this after we've done the milling. So once that's done I can go back here I can click on Camox options and say generate operation plan. So it will pick up tools from the library that you have created. Again the cutoff feature is in the end. Again, if you want to machine this this slot either with your C-axis machine or Y-axis machine, uh, it's easy to add. So I can just right-click on that setup and say I want to insert a new wrapped feature. So you only have to click on one of the pockets and insert it. Okay. And once that's done, I could um, create a pattern. So I could go it's a circular pattern and simply select one of the edges and you have four pockets. So I'll click OK and I'll generate the operation plan. So a toolpath has been created for those pockets as well. And I'll generate the toolpath. So easy as that. I could um, go back to the simulation okay, and I can quickly have a look at the parts being machined. Just finishing off the tool part. Okay. The job's done. Again, depending on the post processor, uh, you can output the codes for it. 